Hey all YouTubers and subscribers, I figured out it's my headsets. If I lay them down, they're not picking up as clearly as they used to. Uh, so I guess I gotta put them on in order for everybody to hear me. I noticed there was like eight visitors to my site, my channel, on, on Stroke, which is good. I hope that y'all leave comments because I want to know and ask questions and, uh, and so forth like that to let me know how I'm doing as for teaching you all the way it's I got on here I got to yawn um when you have a stroke it's the most humiliating experience you can ever experience you ask people to, you have to ask people to do for you because you are not capable of doing for yourself and of course your esteem goes down because you get depressed because you cannot do like you used to do, you have to depend on other people to do it for you or to help you even get up out of bed. And it's an obstacle a rash virus database has been updated. That, you, uh, that you have to overcome. Okay, you have to accept the fact that it happened. You have to then put your focus in on getting better. I had therapy three times a day for 18 days down there, which is very intense. Uh, I got tired of doing, uh, uh there at the last, uh, I was just def refusing to do it because it was the same old, same old, and I conquered that, and I wanted to try something else different, only the therapist didn't feel that I could do it, or it was too soon or something, and I was getting bored with it, it's part of the frustration of knowing that you're doing well, and that you pretty much conquered what you set out to do, like, I, I started walking, okay, at first, I had difficulty. They had to hold me up and blah, 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 blah. And then it got to the point where I started. I was determined to get up on my own without him hardly holding on to me but using a cane. I only used a walker. That was the first or second day that I was there because I was on another floor. And I noticed the walker helped me a lot for two days. But, boy, did I get a surprise when I went down the, you know, the floor below. Um the stroke unit but what I liked about that was they helped me along I think mentally was they are specialized in that it isn't like some Joe Blow MD coming in trying to figure out or going by his schooling of what symptoms are they were advanced in their knowledge they taught me they you know um, the signs um signs I was telling them that I had they said it's typical of a stroke victim I never knew it so it's just choking on food uh, actually you get the hiccups when you have a stroke um, you also relieve gas a lot when you have a stroke this comes from paralyzing your intestines and, and your bladder um, there's all kind of bizarre behaviors and symptoms that you have when you have a stroke. Now, I did not have a headache, but what I complained about a week before was my eye hurting, this eye hurting. It just hurt. The girl I was in the room with for a day, she was a nurse in the ER, and she, um, she was a nurse in the ER, and hers hit the front, and she said she had no headache either. Her eye hurt. So obviously, you know, like her and I got to talking, you know, uh, maybe with females, you don't get that excruciating head pain. They say that you get a headache like you've never had before. But fortunately, I didn't have any. Now, it could be because of the simple fact that I have diabetes. It could be because the nerves are dead. Um, so that could, that could explain that part. You know, and um, but one thing about the unit was <coughs> the therapist, the nurses, the doctors specialize in stroke victims, which makes it easier because they understand. Um, they ask you if you have any aches or pains, any pain at all, blah blah blah. This is to make sure that you're not having another stroke. They ran a second test on me thinking I had another stroke, but I didn't. It was just an ordinary, I guess, pain, you know, I guess. And, uh, so, 
I can't say it was enjoyable being there because it was. I don't know what it is when I get on here. I have to yawn. But it is humiliating and demeaning to have a stroke because you're helpless. And you don't want to be a burden on anybody, but you have to be. And these folks who specialize in this do understand that. And so they don't make you feel like you're not worth anything. You don't. They don't make you feel like you know, you're a hinder to them. Um, they don't make you, they're, they're very compassionate and understanding. I was in therapy with uh, brain injuries from automobile wrecks as well. And, but I've also seen people who were in there and had tubes in their throat from having a stroke. And that is because of some fact that when your, your throat is paralyzed, you know, you can't breathe, you can't, you know, it affects a person differently. Like, I have another stroke, it'll probably affect me differently than what it did before. Let's knock on wood that it don't happen because it's just been a struggle coming back. And I've tried really, really hard to, to bring it back. But the outlook of it all is, is I've enrolled into a class, certificate class, to become a spiritual counselor. I'm moving forward. I'm not looking backwards. Um, I'm looking to have a great summer. I'm looking to do something with myself this summer. And I'm looking to live life to the fullest. I want to go out dancing again. I want to do things that I've, I've done in the past that I've really, really enjoyed. And my hobbies, you know, I can't wait to really get back into them. And I've already picked up one of my hobbies because I wanted to see if I could do it. And I could. The only thing is it makes it hard for me to type on my computer because of my right hand. And I fumble around on the keyboard and it just frustrates me. But I keep trying. I keep trying. So I'm trying to get my hand maneuvered right. So you have to keep working at it. You have to keep having an automatic, um, have to have an optimistic outlook on it. You know, you can't sit around and feel sorry for yourself. You, you cannot expect other people to do for you when you can be able to do for yourself. Sometimes it just takes us a little bit longer to get there. I noticed when I was in, in therapy, some people progressed faster than I did. And I thought, gee, I wish I could, you know, be that good and recover. But obviously it's not in me. I have to take my time. And I think that comes from me brushing around all my life and doing things and and you know and getting things done and, and etc and I expect more out of myself than what I'm really giving myself and the doctors and everybody saying you know how well I've come along and I sound really good my speech is good I can tell you know I can tell I've had a stroke but really I could be mute too so I always look at the worst things the worst possible things that could have happened and that had not happened so I'm not as bad off as some people, you know. And I'm not as bad off as, as what you can make it out to be, okay. I feel I've reached that plateau where I'm on my way to recovery now. I'm trying to uh, put on a little bit of weight. Uh, so I'm going to have to go on a diet for that. So that's going to be the next thing I work at. Then, of course, the next thing is working with the curling iron to get my hair fixed up. Next thing I'm going to do is put on my makeup. All good, positive things. All good, positive things. You know, and the things that you enjoy doing. You know, this is, you got to enjoy it. You know, and of course, I don't like running up and down stairs all the time because it takes me slower now than I ever did. But you know what? It's good practice for my legs. It's it's teaching me to have more stability and so forth like that. Some simple like that. So as as you go on, you know, or if you're helping someone who has had a stroke, you know, take all these things into consideration. And if you find that they get down, talk to them, reassure them that this is not the end of the world. Okay, it's. One of those diverse little things that happen in life that sets you back and you got to work to come back again, you know. And you, you got to just keep going at it in order to make it. And each day gets better and better and better. All right, well, this is Try 76 uh, signing off again.